Oke, okay. hello everyone. Welcome back to Romy OZ. For today's video, we will discuss about um, the errors that we make because of this role and permissions uh, setting. So we are talking about PXP RAD Studio, right? So um, I will tell you, I will let you know, I will show you how um, the the kind of problem that I want to discuss uh, in this video. So if you see here, the roles and permissions here, um, I already set up the, the roles, the setting for the roles for these applications like this. So there is two user roles, admin and user. This admin role, can access everything, can access every table in this application. But this user only can access the transaction data, the transaction menu here. If you hear, this is the tra uh, transaction menu. Okay, this is good, this is, and then done. And okay, then now uh, we can see, <clears throat> well, we can click this button to see what happened to see uh, the application on the browser. Yeah, just click this one, preview in browser. This one. Huh? Now, if you see this one, uh, this is admin24. This is the, the name of user, but this admin24 has admin's roles. But if you see in this menu, you can see only home. But actually, in our setting in PHP Red applications, if you see this, in PHP Red applications, if you see this one, I already setting, I already make the setting so these admin roles can access everything. But then when when I check it on on the browser, um, you can see that uh, this admin user only can access home. Do you know what um, what is the problems? If we go back to the PHP Red uh, applications studio and we click the project menu, if you see this one, actually the menu already complete, which means that uh, that uh, user that who has that uh, admin roles can access everything. But the problem is with this, because this menu we have the sub menu, master data sub menu, the transactions sub menu, and the settings sub menu. Because of this one, because of this feature that is provided by PHP Red Studio, and then then that role setting cannot 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 work properly. Have a look this one, but but it will work if if we don't have this kind of sub menu. If all menu is root menu, in the root, there is no sub menu like this, and then it's okay. For example, if I click this one, I, I will make new the, the new, uh, new menu item here. Click this one. This is uh, the a new the menu item, yeah, the new ones. And then the path is, let's say, to the customer here. This is Plangan in Indonesia. It means customer. So, and then, and then um, the display is customer, and then I click OK. Yeah, let's say to click OK. And then so, don't forget to click Publish so, so the PHP Red can compile all the changes. So we see in the browser now, check in the browser. So now we can see the customer. Why? Because we put the customer menu item in the root in the root area. So if we back here, so if we have the sub menu like like what I have, and then it will create problems. It means that we our applications cannot show the sub menus that actually our application has. <clears throat> now how how then we solve this problem? Let's discuss this. Let's dig this one deeper. Okay? To solve this problem is a little bit easy. It's a bit, uh, it's, it's a simple trick like this. So we go here, this one, this customer, let, let, 
let delete this one because we already have this menu item here. So we, we delete this one by clicking this. So now we have how many sub menu here? Three sub menu, right? Master data, transaction, and setting. For the master data here, the path is master menu and the, the product is barang. Barang means in, in, in English, it means products. So then we copy this one. So the first, we copy the first item of the sub menu, which is product menu here. We copy the path here. We, we click control C to copy the path. And then we put here our cursor here. And then we paste here. We paste that one. So this one, when, when the user click this one, so this menu item will belong to the user who has the um, admin roles. <clears throat> so we will we will be doing the same thing to the sub other sub menus, which, which are transactions and setting. Click set transactions and then try to go to the first, the first menu item under transactions menu groups here. And then we copy this one, the path, and then select again the group menu here. And then we paste here. So try to do the same thing here. And then by copy this user uh, path. And then we click this one setting the group menu and a subgroup menu. And then we paste here. Now just click OK. Hit OK. And then hit again the publish button to recompiling all the changes that we have made. Now let's see the result in the browser. Click this one. ta -da! Now everything changed. So then this user, admin24, who has admin role, now can now access everything. Now we try other user. We try to log out first, and then we try to log in to other user, which is user25. You know, in our setting, user 25, have a look, only has uh, access to the transaction data. So the, the menu of the application should only show the, uh, the menu which is related to this uh, transaction, uh, transaction data, okay? Let's have a look in the browser, whether this, this work or not, okay? After putting the <coughs> username and the password, and then we can hit the login button. ta -da! We can see this. This user 25 who has the user role only can access the transaction data. Okay, everyone, that's uh, the end of the video. Now we can solve that problems. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.